Hi guys, so Lord Frost, the Brexit Minister, was invited to speak at the Tory party conference on Monday. He didn't have a lot to say apart from some lies in order to convince those present that despite the empty shelves and queues for petrol and diesel, everything was going well. He described such problems as rough waters, so quickly the sunlit uplands have disappeared. But the more interesting part of his presentation was what was happening in Northern Ireland. Remember, he negotiated the withdrawal agreement. He signed it and along with his boss, Boris Johnson, they sold it to the public during a general election as an oven ready deal. It was presented as a solution to all of Britain's problems. Now it's not working. The Northern Ireland Protocol is not working and needs to change. Yes, we agreed the protocol in that difficult autumn two years ago. We knew we were taking a risk, but a worthy one, in the cause of peace, in the cause of protecting the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. No, it was not necessary. This, none of this was necessary. If Britain, at, at the UK as a whole, Great Britain and Northern Ireland, had stayed within the single market and the customs union, which you did not want, if they had stayed within that union, then it wouldn't be necessary to have a border anywhere. But you wanted that. So you undermined peace in Northern Ireland. And the protocol was the solution to that undermining. It was the right thing to do. It ended our constitutional crisis. It meant our country could leave the EU whole, free and with real choices about the future. Of course, we wanted to negotiate something better. If it had not been for the madness of the Surrender Act. Of course we wanted to negotiate something better. You sold this as a good deal. So what happened to the David Frost of 2019? Was he lying? Was Boris Johnson lying back in 2019 when they said this was a good deal? Or did they not understand what the deal meant? And when he talks here about the Surrender Act, what he's talking about is the Ben Act, which required Boris Johnson to allocate more time to the, to the negotiation of the withdrawal agreement. So you have Lord Frost who's saying we wanted to negotiate a, a, a withdrawal agreement in shorter time, blaming the Remainers for giving him more time, and now he's saying the withdrawal agreement as a whole is not working. Who's at fault here? We could have done so. So we worried right from the start that the protocol would not take the strain if not handled sensitively. As it has turned out, we were right. The arrangements have, become, have begun to come apart even more quickly than we feared. Thanks to the EU's heavy-handed actions, cross-community political support for the protocol has collapsed. No, this is a lie. This is a barefaced lie. There is a small section of Northern Ireland, a section of the unionist community that is against the protocol. The Alliance Party, the Nationalist Party, Sinn Féin, a majority actually, support the protocol. So when David Frost says that there is cross-community, there, there's a collapse in the support for the protocol cross-community, this is a lie. The protocol itself is now undermining the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. How? Please give us an example of how the, the protocol itself is undermining the Good Friday Agreement. They keep saying that it's undermining the Good Friday Agreement, but they never actually provide any, any examples, anything we can look at, anything we can scrutinize. Remember, they don't like scrutinizing deals, or they don't like scrutinizing the withdrawal agreement. Businesses, political parties, the institutions, and indeed all in Northern Ireland now face instability and disruption. Wrong again. Lies once again. Businesses in Northern Ireland are being protected from Brexit because of the protocol. The protocol is allowing businesses in Northern Ireland to source goods from other areas of the EU, um, other parts of Ireland, in order to maintain full supermarket shelves, to maintain fuel at petrol stations, something that the rest of the UK doesn't have. We can still solve these problems. I set out in July a set of proposals that would establish a new balance for a lasting future for Northern Ireland. And I'll soon be sending a new set of legal texts to the EU to support them. 
So what he's talking about, of course, is the command paper, which the EU have basically rejected, said, no, this isn't going to work. You know, I've said this before, if you, re if you want to renegotiate something, you have to provide something better, not something worse. And what Lord Frost is doing is he's providing something worse than the protocol and expecting the EU to come back and say, yes, that's good for us. Yeah, we're going to work with that. No, they're not. We still await a formal response from the EU to our proposals. But from what I hear, I worry that we will not get a response which enables the significant change we need. So I urge the EU to be ambitious. It's no use tinkering around the edges. We need significant change. If we can agree something better, as I would like us to do, we can get back to where we want it to be. An independent Britain with friendly relations with the EU based on free. Who's creating the problems here? The EU doesn't have a problem with the protocol. The majority of people and businesses and the community in Northern Ireland doesn't have a problem with the protocol. The only people who have a problem with the protocol is the likes of the DUP and the uh, extremist unionists in Northern Ireland, Brexiteers, people who actually voted and campaigned for Brexit, they're the ones who have a problem with the protocol, and the British government. No one else does. Free trade. But we cannot wait forever. Without an agreed solution soon, we will need to act using the Article 16 safeguard mechanism to address the impact the protocol is having in Northern Ireland. So this was, this was to be expected, him considering invoking Article 16 or talking about invoking Article 16. In reality, either he doesn't understand <laughs> Article 16 or he's pretending not to understand Article 16, but Article 16 protects the protocol, doesn't, su doesn't suspend the protocol. See, the problem is, is the Brexiteers in Great Britain and the Brexiteers in Northern Ireland are demanding that the British government suspend the protocol. And they've demanded that they invoke Article 16, but Article 16 does not suspend the protocol. It suspends part of the protocol in order to get over, to find a solution to that problem. And what's happening is the British government continually say, we're going to invoke Article 16, we're going to invoke Article 16 as some sort of threat to the EU. And it's not going to work anymore. You can't just continue to say, we're going to invoke Article 16 and not do it, and then even if you do invoke it, you, you know, I'm pretty sure that Lord Frost knows this, it's not, going to invo it's not going to bring down the protocol. It's not enough to do that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.